Here's a list of dog training conferences I highly recommend. You can travel the world with your quest for knowledge, but let's start with conferences in North America. APDT, the Association of Professional Dog Trainers, has a yearly conference. They alternate between the West Coast and the East Coast, and this year's conference is going to be in Memphis, October 17th to October 20th. The schedule is varied. There's everything for beginning trainers to the more experienced trainers, trainers that are interested in mostly science and sports or vet stuff, and trainers who are more interested in handling skills or how to run a class. They basically have it all. It's an intense four or five day conference, and you can choose which package you want. You can choose how many days you stay. I generally do the entire thing because if you're going to go there you might as well stay for the entire duration of the conference. And the packages make it quite affordable. You can buy a package that includes your hotel and your meals. The newer kid on the block is the PPG or the Pet Professional Guild. I've attended their first two conferences. The third one took place while I was in Germany. It actually just ended so I didn't attend, otherwise I might have gone. It's always taken place in Florida, so Tampa for the first two years and Orlando this year. And they are likely to have a conference every November, and so look at the PPG Summit, they call it a summit, in November of 2018. They also have something that looks very interesting coming up in April of 2018. It's a hands-on workshop in Kanab, Utah. There are lectures and hands-on clinics where you'll be able to work with multiple species and that's what's of particular interest to me because really I feel like being a good dog trainer should mean you've worked with a variety of species. So I love that opportunity to work with other species. So I'm quite excited about it but I'm also not finding a ton of information on their website. But the trainers so far that they've recruited are top-notch, Janice Bradley and Chirag Patel, just to name a couple. I am a member of the IAABC, the International Association of Animal Behavior Consultants. I've never been to any of their conferences. Um, they have three coming up, one in Chile, one in Boston, and one in England, in Manchester. It's a very science-based conference. It's a four-day conference, the one that's coming up in April in Burlington near Boston in Massachusetts is four days of cutting-edge science-based and practical education for animal training and behavior professionals and it offers working with dogs, cats, parrots and horses. So you can choose to learn more about cats if you want or you can stick with just learning more about dogs Dr. Marty Becker is always fun to listen to, and you have some vet behaviorists that are going to be there too. I would consider this one a more advanced dog training conference. Many of my dog trainer friends have gone to the Clicker Expo, and they love it. I can't believe I haven't gone yet, but it's definitely on my to-do list. Clicker Expo is always in a really fun location and at a great time of year as well. So the next one is at the end of January in Southern California. There's one in March in St. Louis, and if you want to travel and you have time to save your pennies, there's one in the UK in October. The Clicker Expo is a great place for professionals to improve your skills and to keep up with the latest techniques you're learning from world experts in positive reinforcement. It's really a wonderful hands-on workshop a great place to network and I really 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 recommend the Clicker Expo not because I've been but I really trust the people who have recommended it it's also one of the longest standing conferences out there so it's been around for a while and it's very established and, and very well regarded another one to check out is the Fenzy Dog Sports Academy training camp specifically if you're interested in dog sports it covers obedience, rally, agility, nose work, freestyle, rally free. It's really all about the sports with Denise Fenzi and other really, really well-known and highly regarded trainers. And as I mentioned, you can check out what she has to offer online. She has really well-constructed online courses that some trainer friends have taken and thoroughly enjoyed. 
The Canine Science Symposium is another one to check out. This year it was two days in San Francisco, $230 for the full weekend of speakers. And the speakers are professors of psychology, anthrozoology, behavioral neuroscience, and behavior analysis. The symposium covered the science of welfare for shelter dogs, training, and canine aggressions. There's really something for everybody there. It looks like a really good quality conference, one to check out for sure. Now, if you need an excuse to travel, or you're just looking to go out of the country for a dog training conference, why not? There's a lot in the UK, and one in particular that's really amazing, it looks amazing anyway, is the WOOF conference hosted by Chirag Patel. Some of the speakers, just to give, just to name a few, you've got Bob Bailey, Chirag Patel, Clive Wynn, Jacqueline Monera, who specializes in cats, Jean Donaldson, who's written some of the books on our reading list. You also have people like Susan Friedman, who's such a, an amazing speaker and a wealth of knowledge. They're all five-star speakers, and there's more to the list. I'm not surprised the conference sold out. Many trainers choose to pursue their education by studying for the CPDTKA exam. So here's the website to find the Certification Council for Professional Dog Trainers. They are the leading independent certifying organization for the dog training profession. So basically, once you pass that exam, you are stamped with this knowledge assessed that is recognized all over the world, but you do have to keep it up. Your option is to retake the test in three years, I believe, or to attend conferences, webinars, do online courses that give you CEU credits. And the CEU stands for Continuing Education Units. If, even if you don't need them, it's good to look for conferences that do offer them because it means that the conference is high quality. Their programming has been checked out by this organization, approved by the organization, and so it's always a good idea to, even though you can't accumulate them or have no intention of accumulating them, to attend conferences that have that option. Albert Einstein also said, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. And there is a process to learning. I think we all go through it, where at first you have a little bit of knowledge and you don't have that awareness of what you don't yet know. That's a dangerous place to be. A little bit of knowledge does not make you an expert, but yet there are a lot of dog trainers out there that have just a little bit of knowledge and think they can work with all kinds of dogs. Now the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. And although it may be an uncomfortable place to be because you realize, oh my goodness, there's still so much to learn, and that's a great space to be in because it also means that you're working towards mastery. 